Hey, this is Ryan from Web Eminence, and in this three minute tip, I'm going to answer the question, where do keywords go in a website? So I often get a list of keywords from clients whose websites I'm building, and they give me this list of keywords, it could be 10, 20, sometimes 100 keywords, and it's the list of keywords they want to rank for in search engines. And they think that just by me putting these keywords into the website, they're gonna rank for all these keywords. So in the past, maybe in the 90s, when Google was kinda new still, there was a meta tag, a meta keyword tag, where you could just put all your keywords that the website was pertaining to and you wanted to rank for, and a lot of times you could rank easily for those keywords. Unfortunately, that doesn't work anymore as Google has grown and the number of websites has grown substantially. There are still places to make sure your keywords exist in your website, and I'm gonna show you how to do that and where to put them in this video. So I mentioned that back in the beginning of search engines, sometime in the 90s, people used to stuff keywords in the keyword meta tag. Uh, in where that would typically show up in the code or where it does show up in the code, you know, looks like this. It says meta name equals keywords in the head tag. So it's at the top of your website. So in the case of this website, I just have one keyword in there. It's mobile truck repair Atlanta. And how you add these meta keywords to your um, website depends on what platform you're using. But in WordPress and in this Divi theme that I'm using, I can just go to the theme options and click on SEO. And I have this ability to add the keywords here and uh, turn them on or off. But that's not even really important. What's important is that these meta keywords don't really do much of anything anymore and can actually be kind of a spam signal. So most people want to turn these off. And this is not just my opinion. Uh, the developer of the popular WordPress plugin, the SEO plugin, uh, Yoast, actually did an article, and this was in 2017, and uh, talked about how meta keywords, you shouldn't use them. And they referenced some uh, information from Google, including an announcement all the way back to 2009, where they said they don't use, Google doesn't use keyword meta tag in uh, web rankings. In the Yoast SEO plugin, which looks like this, used to give you the option to turn on meta keywords, but they discouraged it, and now they've actually totally eliminated it. So basically, meta keywords are dead in terms of SEO, and you really shouldn't use it at all. But just because the meta tag for keywords is uh, dead and no longer useful, doesn't mean you can't still use keywords and should use keywords in your website. One of the most important places would be the uh, meta title, the main title of your website. So on a website, this shows up in the title tag. So this website is mobile truck and trailer repair in Atlanta area. And then I have a dash and then hedge fleet service, which is the name of the company. So this is added in a meta tag. And if I go back to my settings, again, in my theme, this is gonna be different for everybody, but in WordPress, and in my theme options, I can turn on a custom title. And then I just typed it in right here and saved it. So that's just my homepage title. You can add titles to different pages. You can use that Yoast SEO plugin and manage your, um, manage your title and meta description uh, on each page. So the page title and the meta description for each page are important places to uh, make sure your keywords are present. And again, when I'm talking about keywords, I'm talking about the phrases and keywords that you would like to rank for in search engines. Another important place to put your keywords on each page is in H1 tag. So this is just an HTML tag for headings. So in this case, and on this page, this right here is an H1 tag. And in the actual code, it looks like this. So it's just text within two H1 uh, tags, an opening tag and a closing tag. And H1 tags are important because they're a signal to search engines as to what that page is about. And typically you just want one on the page because if you had 10 or 20 H1 tags, it would be difficult for Google or a search engine to figure out which one's the most important. And that's what H2 tags are for. You can use lower level heading tags to style your website and also to just have subheadings 
like for example this might be an h2 tag or this might be an h2 tag but we wouldn't want all three of them to be h1 obviously another place where your keyword should show up is in your main content so this should happen naturally but you may need to go through and make sure that certain keywords are showing up in your content whether it's other headings that are like h2 h3 or just um, stylized text or just your main body text like here it says truck and trailer repair here i have 24 7 mobile road service again hedge fleet service trucks so keywords are going to naturally show up in your content but make sure to go through and uh, and just make sure that they are definitely there and one of the last places i'll mention where your keywords could be present on your website is with image file names and image alternate or title tags so again this is going to depend on your website platform but they all will give you the ability obviously to name your image um, so in this case this image is hedge fleet service trucks jpeg and that's um, those words are split up by dashes and in this theme i'm able to add alternative text and this would be for accessibility. So if someone is blind, for example, or can't see the monitor, um, this text will describe the image. You definitely want to use this to describe the image, but it will also usually have a keyword in it. So it's just another place in your code, the website code, where the keyword is present. You can also use title text for this as well. So I might put Atlanta Truck Fleet Service, for example, in the alternate tag. And that's just a keyword I want to rank for, and it's going to show up on the page. Again, it's going to be a signal to Google as to what the image is about and what this page is about. So those are some places where you can get the keywords into your website. Some of it's going to happen naturally, but some of it's going to take a little bit extra effort on your part to um, get the keywords in there. It's going to help your site rank over time. Now, you're not going to rank for everything, and if you want to understand what expectations you should have, for ranking your site for specific keywords in search engines, you should check out my video where I talked about small business ranking expectations and that goes over this exact topic. So check that out and we'll see you on that video.